here is an object at rest on an inclined plane, and the goal is, well, here's the drawing. The object is in, is in equilibrium, and the goal will be to determine the value of the normal force and the static friction. So the first thing to do is to draw the force diagram. Make a dot to represent the object. Normal force is perpendicular to the ramp. The weight, I'm going to use an FG for force of gravity, is straight down towards the center of the Earth. And because it's at rest in equilibrium, again, it's in equilibrium, it could be sliding with constant speed, but let's just say it's at rest. If it were sliding with constant speed, we'd have kinetic friction, but instead it's at rest, so we have static friction pointed uphill. Notice that I drew the normal force shorter than the weight. It's related to the angle. And the static friction is always a fraction of the normal force. Now, let me grab another marker. We need to resolve what we, we need to tilt our axes. So parallel to the ramp is the x-axis. Perpendicular to the ramp is the y-axis. Resolve the vectors, the components of the weight draw back from the normal force. If you do that, that angle is the same as that. That becomes FGY. And downhill is FGX. Now I'm going to go off to the side and calculate those. FGY will be FG times the cosine, not sine, but cosine of the angle. So that is FG, which is 2 times 9.8 is 19.6. Again, FG is 2, the mass times G, 9, 2 times 9.8 is 19.6, times the cosine of 22 degrees, which equals, let me grab my paper, I calculated it already. That comes out to be approximately 18 newtons. FGX is FG times the sine of the angle 19.6 sine 22 degrees is 7.3 newtons. So, in the x-axis, net force in the x-axis is equal to zero because this is at rest. Therefore, the downhill force equals the uphill force, so static friction equals FGX, which is 7.3 newtons. In the y-axis, net force in the y-axis equals zero. Therefore, the normal force balances FGY. Which is equal to 18 newtons. Now, if I have asked you to find the coefficient of static friction, then the coefficient of static friction, remember that static friction is less than or equal to mu s times the normal force. So we solve for, norm, for mu s. Mu s is greater than or equal to the static friction over the normal force, which is greater than or equal to 7.3 all over 18, which is greater than or equal to Da, 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 0 0.41. That would be the coefficient of static friction. Remember it has no units. It's just an indicator of the surface roughness between the two. 